So today we're going to talk about fluoride. Which is uh, fluoride. Um, fluoride is one of the most hot, widely researched products ever in the world. Um, and it doesn't make you grow two ears or two heads or things like that. It doesn't cause, cause cancer. There's no direct correlation with that. Um, but what fluoride does, and it doesn't really help us as much as adults unless you have your teeth clean and the dentist puts a fluoride coating over your teeth. But with young children, until it, once all the teeth are through, it won't help them either. But while the teeth are still developing in the bones, it gets taken up into these crystals and you get a dramatic decrease in the amount of decay. Okay, the enamel so much tougher. And that's a real benefit for young children. And you can start that, you know, even after you've had the baby type of thing and just keep it going. And if you've got fluoride in the water, um, you need to be aware of that as well. You can find out from your local water authority as to what the levels are. Some areas are very low or don't have fluoride in the water and you can get fluoride supplements from the chemist as well. Mm. Yeah, look, I don't want to spend a huge amount of time on it, but I'll... Um, there's no, it's a huge, it's a huge benefit, and this fluoride has been negated nowadays. You know, the young kids are drinking Red Bull and all this sort of stuff. Well, that's really damaging to the teeth, and it's sort of negating the extra strength of, uh, that's been put into their teeth when they were younger. I've got two daughters that I know of, <laughs> and um, the one in Dubai, she's just had a second child, and uh, um, she's asked me. Uh, because uh, it's all desalinated water over there. Uh, so you can imagine how expensive it is, the, the water over there. That's why you don't see that much grass and things like that. Anyway, um, so it's really important to know what level is in your water. In a nutshell, virtually all around the world, every fresh water supply has got fluoride in it, but different levels. Okay? And you can see in the different areas, they've got higher fluoride levels, uh, that they, you know, they've got less decay and all those sort of things. So there's natural correlations in the water around the world. And it's, you know, it's just a, and they haven't got two heads or anything like that. They don't have high cancer rates. They don't have anything that these anti-fluoridationists want to go on about.